good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, ancient cities of Western Armenia by us, the process and results of delimitation and demarcation with Armenia should not affect the current and future status of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian. The chairman of National Assembly of Artsakh and the Ever ambassador to Lebanon discussed the prospects of Armenia and Tsakh diaspora cooperation. I am disappointed by the reaction of the international community, the leader of the Artsakh diocese, famous children of Western Armenia Balian family, Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem welcomed soldiers wounded in a 44-day war. By the decision of the government of Armenia, the historical and cultural reserve Artsakh was created. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The fortress city of Bayas is located in Cilicia of Western Armenia on the eastern coast of Alexandrite. There is little information about Bayas. At the end of the 12th century, the last lord of Bayas was ranked among the first class princes of Cilicia and Armenia. In the same century, Bayas and Tastatzadzin church, market, hotel and bath house are remembered. There is a castle called by the historian the fortress of Kusanand. Having fallen under the power of foreign conquerors, it fell and turned into a bad village. Thanks to the cultivation of fertile lands, it flourished in the 15th century. At the beginning of 20th century, Bayas was the center of the province of the same name. It had about 5,000 Armenians who were engaged in handicrafts and trade, partially in agriculture. The Armenians of Bayas were deported in 1915, during the genocide of Armenians. After the Second World War, about 300 Armenians were returned from deportation, lived in Bayas. Azerbaijan President Ilyam Aliyev has again made problematic statements in response to which the process and results of delimitation and demarcation with the Republic of Armenia should not affect the current and future status of the Republic of Artsakh. Artak Begladan wrote about this on his Telegram channel, presenting a number of comments. After all, the Artsakh conflict is not with the Republic of Armenia, but with the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. The Azerbaijan-Artsakh conflict has not yet been settled, which is accepted by the whole world. And if Azerbaijan wants to close the page with the conflict and clarify the status of Artsakh, it can also carry out the process of delimitation and demarcation with the Republic of Artsakh, at the same time returning our occupied territories and recognizing our independence. The main principle of conflict settlement is the full realization and recognition of the right of peoples to self-determination. Nevertheless, there is international law where the right of people to self-determination has its fundamental place. Another important important principle of international law is the non-use of force, which has been ignored by Azerbaijan. Encouraging and ignoring this kind of behavior gradually leads to international disasters, Artak Beglarian wrote. The delegation headed by the chairman of National Assembly of Artsakh, Artur Tomasian, in Beirut, met with the ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to Lebanon, Vahagan Atabekian, and the diplomatic staff of the embassy. During the warm and friendly conversation developed at the meeting, issues of concern to the Armenians on the agenda prospects to Armenia, Artsakh diaspora cooperation were discussed. The delegation of the VCC, which is in Armenia at the invitation of Round Table Foundation of the World Council of Churches, met with the leader of Artsakh Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church, Bishop Vertanes Abrahman in the Mother See of Holy Ejmiadzin. Representatives of the organization and in Armenia within the framework of the Pimgridge of Justice and Peace Mission. At the beginning of the meeting, Karen Nazadan, Executive Director of the Armenia Roundtable Foundation of the VCC, presented the catastrophic humanitarian consequences of the 44-day war in 2020, the current situation in Artsakh and the war crimes of Azerbaijan, and the destruction of culture and religious monuments during the war. It is noted that the representatives of the delegation were interested in the current social-psychological state of the population of Artsakh. Bishop Vartanes Abrahman also said that as a clergyman, he was disappointed by the reaction of the international community to the war in Artsakh. The delegation will host the genocide of Armenia's memorial and take part in a holy clergy by Grigori the Illuminator of the Mother See Church. 
On the all the outstanding buildings of Kostadnapol, you see the Balian signature. In Western Armenia, the Balian family is known as the most famous family in Ottoman architecture of the 19th century. Balian families of Armenian origin, fathers, son and brothers, have been architects continuously for four generations. Their roots come from Caesarea. These architects, too, for about a century, bore the surname Balian, followed each other and led a fruitful and influential life. Balians were educated in Europe, and when European architecture began to be considered fashionable in the empire, it was they who became masters of this craft. Their extensive professional activity and talent led to the fact that a surname by land was proclaimed both inside the country and abroad. The Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem welcomed six soldiers wounded in a 44-day war and their accompanying staff. This is stated on the Facebook page on the head of Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Vartapet Korium Baudasarian. The program is being implemented with the cooperation of the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem and the national government. The message reads... By the decision of the government of Republic of Armenia, dated May 26, 2022, the historical and cultural reserve Artsk was established in the village of Artsk of the Ashtarak community of Aragatsotan region of Republic of Armenia. The famous top of 4th century Ashakuni kings is located in Artsk, where the captured and returned remains of both pagan and Christian Armenian kings were buried. The museum, according to approximate estimate, was built in 364. Excavation around the museum Museum revealed the foundation of the above ground part of the tomb and some other remains. It should be noted that there are 14 museum reserves in Armenia, eight of which are historic and cultural reserves. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our work is aimed at preserving and developing ties between our compatriots and the motherland. At this historic stage, we are all obliged to support our national demands in order to face together the challenges we have and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for your active support on these difficult parts. Together we can do more. Now musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.